We're heating water for all part washers, for free. When rebuilding and buying new air compressor systems, we do not simply consider the requirement specifications for this one matter alone. We map out all options for energy optimizations. So with this approach, we found a new energy source that allows us to heat water for all the factory's part washers. How do we do this? For years, we have spent tremendous amounts of energy on cooling our air compressor systems, generating a lot of heat that was wasted directly out into the open air. We started with the obvious optimization with more efficient water-cooled systems. This enables us to also utilize the energy and heating exchangers to provide hot water. The hot water is brought into large accumulation tanks in this way, we secure that there is always the optimal capacity to supply all our approximately 40 part washers located throughout the factory. All the energy that earlier was wasted is now being utilised for a concrete function in the production. What's interesting is what the people working with the part washers are experiencing. <laughs> Actually, this project started up, uh, we needed some new air compressors and uh, normally when we buy in compressors for producing air, we don't look at the waste products. Uh, this time we started up in a different approach. We started up looking on all, all the part washers in the production. The part washers are heated up with electricity. Now we uh, installed some storage tanks and we use the heat, the waste heat from the compressed air production and use that to heat up the washing machines, hot washers in the production. So actually we use the waste energy source as supply for hot washers in the production. We don't have to cool the compressors and we don't need to heat up the hot washers. This solution clearly proves that seeing energy optimization on demand in a bigger picture is beneficial. And we show the world that we live by our own saying, combating climate change by using the most energy efficient solutions.